So right there, I have a bunch of little pieces of paper on the desk. What's the charge on them? Neutral. They're neutral. I'm going to move. That's why I said if you need to move, you need to move. Okay? So pieces on the desk are neutral. The rod is negative. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them over top, and I need you guys to watch and see what happens. Yeah, Sam, if you want to zoom in just at the desk, that would be good. Okay. Now, this should not be anything new. Why? Oh, they don't want that to happen yet. But why do they stand up? Magic. Polarization. Polarization. Saying that they want to go there or they stand up because or what? Attraction? Well, why is there attraction? The reason is because the paper becomes polarized. This is negative. What side, what's the local charge on the top of that paper? Positive. Okay. Now, why doesn't it just fly up? What do you mean not? I agree. What do you mean? Strong enough to do what? What force, Chris? Okay. There are two forces. Oh, oh, I don't want to have happen. There are two forces on these pieces of paper. Chill out, okay? There are two forces on the paper. There is the force of gravity acting down and what we call the electrostatic force acting up. Right now, which one's bigger, gravity or the electrostatic force? Gravity. Gravity, because it's staying down. But if I make it bigger by bringing this up, I need you guys to watch very carefully. It jumped up. You saw it jump up. Why did it jump up? Electrostatic force is greater than gravity, so the piece of paper accelerates upward. But then, it flies up and immediately falls back down. Wait, it flies up and does what? Touches. Oh! The charge on the paper was neutral. Charge on the rod. Oh! Charge on the rod is negative. A time that a charged object and an uncharged object touch, that is called charging by contact. Or you could say, for those of you that like putting on your quiz, charging by touching. Okay? Which is why touching and rubbing are two different things. So, it charges by contact. So, the rod was negative, so the paper becomes? If you touch, or if you come in contact, it's going to become negative. Okay, guys. So, the paper is negative, the rod is negative. So, they repel. So, it jumps up. immediately jumps back down because it gets repelled away the first instant they touch. Story's not done yet. What was the charge on the paper as it's falling? Negative. Negative, and then it hits. Grounded. The table grounds the paper, and it becomes neutral. So, then... Okay, so let's, let's watch this all the way from the beginning. Why did some stick? So it jumps up, so it jumps up, becomes charged, gets repelled, falls down, and becomes neutral. Hey, it's time to do it all over again. Jumps up, gets charged, jumps down, becomes neutral. Might be asking the question, I'm hoping you are. What's your question? Oh, that's not the question I was hoping. <laughs> yes, there's going to be four small pictures, okay? But, so it jumps up. Maybe. So the same pieces can go up again. Now, can I play this game forever? No. What do you mean the charge runs out? Every single time, Ellie, every single time it touches, the rod gives up some of its charge. Where does that charge go to? It goes to the ground, and by, when it goes to the ground, guess what? It's gone. Okay? The rod can't get it back. So what you can see, eventually, you know, we can play this game, hop, 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 crazy, crazy. 
Why aren't they hopping anymore? It's not crazy anymore. Oh, got, got a couple hops. Move it a little lower. Move it a little closer. The only way I can do it, right, because I'm losing charges. I have a question. Yes. Let's say you get a plastic bucket. Guys, come on. Yes, plastic bucket. And you charge it, and you drop papers in there, and they like, go crazy. And like you hang it from the ceiling so it doesn't... Is that what we're doing now? No, but... Well, why do they stick? Well, perhaps part of it. Um, some stuff you can, it's tough, as you've seen with some demonstrations, being absolutely sure that A, you distribute all the charges right. B, so clearly, the fact that they stuck means either. For some reason, part of it is, for example, here, how about this? If it's folded like that and it's just perfect and only the very tips are touching, but the top of the fold isn't, only the tips get charged, but the top is still neutral. What's the force between a neutral object and a charged object? Attraction. So that could be a reason. Um, it could be that for some reason part of the surface got positively charged, um, which maybe I touched and I took away some of the charge, or maybe, or maybe there's a lot of things that could happen. Um, and the hard thing is, I can't look at this right now and say, it's negative, okay? I can't do that. So it, it becomes difficult to do some of these problems because it's hard to be able to determine what's actually going on. But we can follow our rules and we can test it and that's about, that's the best we can do. So we're going to sketch this one out.